Well, hello and welcome to That's The Point. This is your home for everything on the topics of construction positioning. My name is Corey Meyer and today, well, I'm flying alone first of all. So first we had hurricanes, then we had babies being born and now we have COVID. So here in the office trying to practice some safe distancing, but today we are going to jump in and talk about bridges and not the big river crossing kind, but the wireless kind that are used for radio connections. Is that right? Today, we're going to walk through this process of setting up and pairing the Trimble radio bridge to your Trimble, Trimble tablet. There's obviously a lot of reasons why you could use this, the most common of which is, uh, let's say that maybe you had a scanning tablet, like a Trimble T10X like we have here, right? It doesn't have the built-in module, uh, the Empower module, um, or you're trying to connect a site print. You need that radio connection. You want to use that 2.4 gigahertz radio. This little video bridge can help you out with that, and it can turn your regular Wi-Fi only tablet into a tablet that can run a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Trimble Total Station, which is really cool and really powerful for us. So that's what we're gonna jump into today. So before we get started with the setup and pairing process, it is important um, to know that not every tablet that comes out of the Trimble factory is ready for an external radio option. So thankfully, there's a relatively easy way to check and see if your tablet is ready to go. So what we wanna do is we wanna log into FieldLink and we're just here on the main page now or the more page. Um, and we can see up in the top bar, we have the little device icon. And on this particular tablet, we have, you can see that it's a little GNSS receiver and a little total station. That means that it's ready for the external connection. Now we have another example here of a tablet that has not been enabled for the external connections. And that one is actually just a single total station and it looks like a little RPT. So that's how we know right away um, that this tablet is gonna need an unlock code. Um, so if you don't have that, if you have the single, the single total station right there under on, on with device underneath of it, you know that you just need to reach out to your local building point representative and they'll get you squared away. It's not a cost thing or anything like that. It's just something they have to unlock in the back end um, and make the tablet uh, ready to accept the external connection. So now that we have that accomplished and we know that this tablet is ready to go, um, let's talk about how we get started with the pairing process. First of all, as with all things, you come, you're gonna buy a radio bridge. It's gonna come with this little, in, in this box, and it's gonna come with a manual. And this is one of those times where you actually might wanna take a look at the manual. We're not gonna cover all that stuff here, um, but the manual does have all the different light codes and everything, all the simple installation stuff. And honestly, everything that we're gonna talk about today happens after <laughs> this manual. So you do wanna start with this. And the first thing that it's gonna tell you is you wanna charge it, because this thing they travels, you know, these are travel safe. Um, so you wanna make sure that you charge the radio bridge for a few hours so it's got a little USB-C port down here. You wanna make sure that you charge it before so it's ready to go. So that's the first thing you wanna do before you can do anything else. Um, so we've already uh, charged this radio bridge. So now we're ready to connect the radio module. So we do have a standard um, Empower radio module here. This is just the 2.4. And so all we have to do is we just have to slide it onto the cradle of the bridge and we're gonna tighten down those two screws and secure it so it's kind of ready for the job site and everything that it'll throw at it. And then the last thing that we're gonna need, because it is a 2.4 gigahertz connection, is it does not work too well without an antenna. Um, so we'll take our one of our standard uh, 2.4 gigahertz antennas, attach it on there, and we are good to go. Now this thing is ready to act as a full-fledged antenna that has all the range and everything else that you would expect uh, from a Trimble connection. So with the next thing, we're going to power it on. So we're just gonna press that button and hold it for one second, and we'll see that the light turns green that will begin the booting process. And there is two different lights that go on here. Um, and what we're actually going to do is, as it's going through the process, we are waiting for it to go um, for a white on the bottom, and it's gonna go to a yellow on top. That means that the Empower module is connected and that it is ready to accept a new, a new pairing to your tablet. So, with that being said, we're now ready to start with the pairing process. As always, or it seems like always, there's two ways to pair this. You can either do it the old, you know, just the general way via Windows or within FieldLink. And we really recommend using the FieldLink method just because of the ease of use. And honestly, we just find it to be a little more intuitive um, and to be able to do it. So you can do it the old way if you want to you pair your Bluetooth device in the back end on your tablet. You can do that. Uh, but today we're just going to talk about the FieldLink method. So with FieldLink booted, so we're still, we're still loaded into FieldLink I and mean, logged in. We're gonna to go to the device icon up at the top that we just talked about. And we wanna make sure also that our RTS is powered up and ready to go. So we wanna we want to make sure that our RTS is powered up and ready to go. We wanna make sure it's selected down here in the bottom left-hand corner. So if you're on GNSS or, or RI, you wanna make sure that you're on the middle one, um, which in this case is the RTS connection. And we also need to know our channel and our network for our connection to our total station. Um, I happen to know that ours is 2078. Um, so we've already typed that in there. And we can see there's some instructions down here below. 
but we've already covered that here. So we still have the white and the yellow, which means that we are set and ready to connect. So with all that been done, tap on connect. And the first thing it's going to do is going to search for a radio bridge. Um, and it'll say, it'll, it'll say that it'll connect it or it's, it's searching and then it'll connect to the radio bridge. And as soon as that happens, um, then we're going to see the next confirmation, which is going to be the radio ID, um, or the radio serial number showing up down there in this bottom bar. That's how we know we're kind of on the right step. So I happen to know that this serial number of this was, was ending in 425. So we know that that step is accomplished. And then it, the next and final thing is it'll connect to the RTS and we'll see the RTS 573 connection was established. And that's it. So now you're into your normal setup. This is operating now completely just like a regular Trimble tablet that would have the integrated 2.4 um, gigahertz connection. And you can run a total station with your Wi-Fi only tablet or connect to a site print. Um, so that's it. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local building fight representative. We're always happy to help. And don't forget, smash that subscribe button. Stay up to date with the latest tips, tricks, and pointers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on That's the Point.